I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a Native American cave drawing found in Alabama. I'm going to take two fingers in the center at the top and underneath I'm going to put a dot. And we're going to do this differently than we have before because it's an all line drawing. So from the dot I'm going to just draw a straight diagonal up, slightly curved line down, come back to over here on the dot, curve line out, straight line up and connect. I'm going to go one, two curved lines, one, two curved lines. I come over here on the left corner and I'm just going to do floating one, two slightly curved lines. I come right down here on the right and I'm just going to draw slightly curved line all the way down and leave it floating. Come back up we're going to draw another slightly curved line down and leave it floating. I come back up here to the right. I draw a curved line down. Underneath I'm going to draw a curved line up. Straight diagonal up. Little slightly curved line. Right from here I'm just going to draw a straight line up and connect. Right above that I'm going to put a dot because we're going to draw straight line out, straight line down, straight line over, come back to the dot, straight line out, straight line down, straight line over, connect. Right at the bottom we're going to draw one, two floating lines. And don't be concerned about all of these floating lines, we're going to connect them in a minute. Alright, I come over to the left and right about here I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curve line down, little curve line, curve line up, come over to the top dot, curve line out, little straight line, curve line up, connect. And right here I'm just going to draw one little curve line, another curve line, and I'm going to mimic it back up at the top. Little curve line, little curve line, and leave it floating. Because right at the bottom we're just going to draw a little straight diagonal and leave it floating. Come back over here on the left point, top, we're going to draw a curve line down, little curve line, little curve line, little curve line. Now we're going to bring it up. Curve line up, curve line, connect. Okay, that is the main part of our drawing. Now, instead of coloring this all in, we're going to, to bring it textured with different lines. So just follow along and if yours looks different, that's fine. Okay? Starting at the top, right here on this space, I'm going to do little straight diagonals all the way down on the right hand side. I come inside and I'm going to do the letter M, the letter M, and leave it floating. Down here at the bottom, slightly curved lines, and wherever I can fit a straight line that mimics my M, I'm going to. Okay? Now I come over here and inside I'm just going to draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. And I'm going to mimic these lines now. That's why it doesn't matter if they were floating because we're going to draw them again. Even these little guys. Come inside and see if you can mimic these lines again. This is an all line drawing. Linear. Now I come down to this point on the right and I'm just going to draw slightly curved lines going down and this is called cross hatching. 
I'm just going to cross each one of those rows with another little curved line. I come to this space and I'm going to draw one, two curved lines, three if you can fit it in, and now I'm going to cross these lines, cross hatched. Okay? I jump over to the opposite side. Same thing, I'm going to do some curved lines going down, keep going, and now I'm going to cross-hatch those going up. Okay, now this I'm going to fill in with contour lines that follow the lines I've already drawn. Okay, maybe fit one more in there. Now I come over to this main part. And I draw straight lines. They can be uneven. And now I'm going to cross hatch those. And right at the top, I'm just going to put a couple of little straight diagonals. I come underneath and I draw one, two, three straight lines. And then I'm going to draw another set of diagonals and cross hatch those. Okay. I come back down again and I'm going to draw a curved line across and I'm going to draw a long curved line down and cross hatch here and then on the opposite side I'm going to draw curved lines going down like this and cross hatch those. Okay? Come up, fill this in with some straight lines, fill this in with some cross hatching. That's why you can do this as long as you're doing straight diagonals, cross hatchings, you're okay. All right? Now, <clears throat> down at the very, very bottom, I'm going to go zigzag, 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 connect. And down here, I'm just going to go curve line, curve line out, up leave it floating and right over here cross hatching right over here some cross hatching okay now on the right hand side I'm just going to add some lines decorative lines straight line straight line straight line out connect and let's do it again okay right here slightly curved line little curved line straight diagonals up down up down okay now I'm gonna come around on this space and just draw a little straight line out slightly curved line I guess little slightly curved line out I think that's all okay let's see how we do color this in okay this is a cave drawing it was found in an unnamed cave in Alabama, early to middle woodland prehistoric period. Okay, so this is really early. Therefore, we're going to do just some light coloring as if we found this in a cave. So I'm going to take my peach and just go around the image. I'm going to take my brown and just go around the image doesn't matter if you hit something and then just light a little bit of black okay that's all it's a cave drawing okay and um, I think the most important or most interesting thing is is that it's 11 feet tall this is not little, this is huge. Okay, let's see what it looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my cave drawing all colored in. I think what's really interesting is that they will not tell you what cave it's in in Alabama because they don't want people going in and vandalizing. Okay, bye-bye.